Hello and welcome to another video on my channel. Today I finally want to show you my Battle Spirits Neon Genesis Evangelion stuff. I have some of these for quite some time. They are not really new. I just never had the time to open them and record it. So this is the starter deck. I think this was released with the first volume of the booster boxes. I have opened the second booster box of Battle Spirits Evangelion collab but never got the chance or like I did, I found the, the first box a few times, but always when I didn't have the money, so I never opened the first box. But yeah, the second one I got some, some months ago and yeah, opened and recorded it. And then I got these premium collection. They always have like the same, the same cards in these binders. And yeah, let's start with the with the deck. These are all Japanese, and this means also that Battle Spirits are just Yu-Gi-Oh sized cards. The English version, Battle Spirit Saga, is bigger sized, and they also do collabs. Uh, by now, there should be yeah, they have the the collaboration promos but not the special set out yet i don't know when it releases but there will be a a special set just with neon genesis evangelion in the english version at the moment i cannot tell if i will be able to to open it it's as always it depends if i can afford it uh looks like we get a lot of v cross releases currently and yeah this is the pack I don't want to forget at the end, the Force of Will pack. But yeah, the deck comes with sleeves. That's really nice. They look cool. Nerf. What's gods in his heaven all right with the world? Okay. And then we get the regular cards. And I like that they open so easily. Sometimes when the cards are ring wrapped and you... You can basically, uh, you struggle, a, or I struggle a lot with opening them. Uh, can I zoom in a little bit? So, yeah, we get the X rarity cards. Oh, it's... Okay. Everything is special and shiny, but some are a little bit more special. Like this, Eva. Okay, I think they have the same... The same artworks in Battle Spirit Saga. Because of the card size, I just I just like the Battle Spirit Saga more because they are bigger. But I hope you can see the foiling in the background. There is a, a ring effect and it looks super cool. And yeah, these cards are textured. The first four, four cards, and then we get just M. Oh, but the foiling looks great. On camera, camera it probably looks a little bit dark. It is some kind of... Oh, Asuka. It's some kind of colder foiling. And the eyes aren't highlighted. It's a little bit simplistic. It, run, it reminds me a little bit of uh, the LR OT of Zillions of Enemy X, but there are no different uh, layers or yeah, nothing highlighted in the holofoil. We get Crybaby Chinji, Ray, more Evangelions, uh, more Ifas. But yeah, my guess is that we basically get the same artworks. I don't think they they will do a lot of new stuff, but maybe they will prove me wrong once the the English Battle Spirit set releases kind of token oh they are also foiled looks like split cards these look cool then we get another additional pack yeah i i don't know if we get some kind of random yeah i can't read that <laughs> uh if we get some kind of random pr foiled cards or if we always get the same stuff in the trilex if you know something more about this please let me know Oh, but this is another nice textured card. Oh, this is amazing. It has some kind of shatter foiling, but very well done. 
Okay. These are beautiful. So both of every okay. It's just a sh man, it's just a shame because I I do have some ways to display the cards like these uh these what's the magnetic holders and stuff, but they are always for Pokemon size cards. They are not for for Yu-Gi-Oh size cards, so I I do struggle a lot with displaying the cards if they they would have a different size, it would be easier for me to pull them off or like put in my, my display case. But yeah, that's that was a nice thing. I, I don't know if you can still get the deck since I bought it like a year ago. I think the, the deck I bought a long time ago. Uh, some of these premium binders you should still be able to get. I don't know if all of them since, yeah, this one, PC05. I think this is the oldest one where's my focus. Uh, my guess is this is not available anymore since it's old too. But yeah, maybe you can check some some sites and can still find them. Okay, yeah, I feel, I was fearing that uh, they are like this. I. I will not take them out, I guess. Not on camera. Yeah. Man, uh, the Digimon TCG had done something similar that they they have these promo cards and these binders and it's such a pain. Maybe I'm just really stupid. But it's really difficult for me to get these cards out uh, without damaging them or without uh, bending them. So I will just show you the cards really close. And not take them out. Or maybe I... Maybe I do cut the video. Maybe I make a stop and then I... Struggle now for half an hour to take these cards out. And then I will record again. So it took forever and I'm probably sweating a little bit more. But yeah, I, I did it. I got all the cards out of their sleeves. I, I really don't like how they... Uh, yeah, how they are done, these these binders. It looks great for the first time, but when you try to get them out, it's really weird or like difficult. Yeah, let's look at the first premium set. Uh, I think they all have the same surface treatment and oiling, I guess. They are textured. Very, very cool. The card quality is, is very nice. Uh, we get the, the Eva of Maki, I guess. And yeah, this... Man, when I first saw this artwork, it, I, man, my mind is... First thought was like, why is this big Eva giving this small Eva a handjob? Ah, yeah, man. Sorry, I'm still 13 in my mind. Now we get like this angel. Don't know which number. We got yeah, this guy that name I totally don't know. But I think the foiling. Are oh, there's still texture even on the on the clothing? But not as much as so maybe there are a few differences, or it's just like the artwork. Because on this card you see a lot of texture over the complete card. More like a, a full art card. Get the Ber Berserker, I think. Berserker Eva. And Evangelion Mark number six. Yeah, very, very nice cards. The second binder in order should be this one. 12. What's the Godzilla one? No, it's 11. So yeah, I will probably... I have to zoom out. I need the picture for my thumbnail. Like this. Uh, yeah, very cool. They have a collaboration with Godzilla. And even if I'm not a, not really into Godzilla, or I don't know a lot about Godzilla, to be honest. Of course, I had to get the cards. So, zoom in again. And yeah, we got the Berserk form. Or like an enraged form. 
I I think this is my favorite artwork. I don't know why it's the first to showcase. Yeah, this looks so amazing. What a great I man! I just would love this to get this card in uh, in a bigger card size. Then we get like yeah. I I'm not a fan of this one. More like these Dino Godzilla robots. Uh, this otherwise looks looks great, in the Eva Eva one color style. Yeah, this of course was on the on the cover. Very nice texture also, and yeah, the change of the the rings in the background, how you tilt the card, it looks so cool, like a a shockwave from from the voice on the screen. Yeah, another one that I'm not a fan of. I don't know. This is like an angel in the background. Uh, this was the G Ghidorah. I don't. Why do I have to think of the, the magic dragon? I think the. Or is it the same name, Ghidorah? I don't know. Three headed dragon. And another angel. But yeah, my, my favorite. I think my favorite from them all, from all of the promo cards. This Berserk. That's amazing. And yeah, last premium set. Number PC12. With eight cards. We've got Ray in the hospital. Now this time, looks not so fancy from the texture. A little bit more simple. Ah, this looks better. So there, there are like differences. This is again a X, X rarity. And the texture in the background makes it look like it's fighting, really fighting in the rain. I think this is what they are going for. Jinji looking pretty serious. Another X rare. But yeah, the, the texture is not so over the top like uh, in the previous set. Get Asuka. The color looks so vivid. For our best Sandare. Uh, okay. What is this error pointing on? Uh, I can't read. This Kokon Kokoni. I can read Kanji. Kun Ji -e. hmm. I can't read it, but great art. Oh this is this is cool. Yeah, I I think the my favorite artworks are not the Eva if I won artworks, probably these and yeah, Asuka and Shinji. So yeah, thank you for watching. Uh, I hope I can show you or get some product of Battle Spirit Saga. Maybe if there is a sale of set number four. Uh, yeah, it's not super popular in Germany. The the Battle Spirit Saga TCGs. So there are often sales on them when they when the shops just want to get rid. So I hope for for a sale on them. So yeah. Thank you for watching. And of course, I totally forgot the Force of Will pack that I put to the side to not forget it, but because <laughs> I paused the recording and yeah, my brain forgets. So let's see, what do we have? Binding. Oh, is this an artwork for my chip collection? I don't think so. But yeah, thank you for watching. See you in my next unboxing. Bye.